there, signs of Sagittarius. This is Kim here to do a reading for you, a little bit special. Today, it's going to be for the rest of the year, one card per month. So I'm excited to do this for you. This is the Zen Tarot, and um, we're going to use that, one for each month, like you said, and then the Wisdom of the Oracle at the end. So let's begin, Sagittarius, calling your spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power to give us wisdom and words for your higher benefit. And also, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Uh, if you want private reading, I do those for donation. And this, this is for the month of April as we start off. It starts with conditioning. I'll just go ahead and tell the story. So there was a lion that was dressed in sheep's clothing and raised among sheep. All of the other sheep treated him like a sheep. But one day the shepherd took the lion to a pond and took off the outfit and said, look at who you really are. And the lion was so kind of taken aback, but didn't, didn't realize that he was so magnificent and strong and courageous. That is what's going to come to you in April. Nice. All right, May. May for Sagittarius. Ooh, coming in fast too, guys. Coming in fast because it's the Knight of Wands energy. And, you know, this is kind of like your fiery energy here. So whatever it is that you're manifesting, it's going to be really strong. If you're looking at this as a romance spread, which it can be, then it'd be somebody that usually comes in and out of your life, coming back into your life. So, conditioning, and then something comes in quickly. I think we're going to find out what comes in quickly for July. For July, for Sagittarius, please. Oh, goodness. Okay. A lot of effort. A lot of effort. Ten of Wands, still fiery, needing to rearrange what you're carrying because you're trying to take a lot on. In the month of July, watch for burnout because you're going to put too much on your plate. So watch for that. All right, for August. <laughs> August is creativity. Wow. So that's like the Empress card in this deck. This, this is whatever you create will be very, very successful on a grand scale, not a small scale. It's like you made a store and it became outlets. Like it's big. It's big. All right. The Empress could be child, uh, birthing a child too. If, if that's your what you think that this is aligned with. Most of the time it's about creating something um, like an idea, a creation that's grand. All right, so for September. For September, guys. Woo, some more stress. I'm sorry. It's just like, wow, you're going to do a lot this year. I would be very, very prepared for your intensity of this year. Whatever you're going to create is going to be so successful that, yes, you'll be feeling like you are in a circus act doing more than you should be doing. Like I said, having three arms, three legs. So <clears throat> it's going to seem magnificent what you're able to do. All right, for October... Maybe we're coming out, I and mean, I usually take forwards, but this could be about feeling guilty about something. And you know what I'm thinking it is? Is it probably about a life, work, uh, like work, home, family balance? I think something you may feel guilty about putting so much time and attention into this. But don't. Just watch out for that. Okay. Let's have that down here. All right. April, May, June, July, August, September. Yeah. October, November, December. Sorry. October's next. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. All right. We have two that want to come out for October, and it just did like that. So we'll take them. You're releasing a burden of expectation 
of other people. Meaning you're stopping caring what these people say because it was weighing you down, making you stressed out. This could leave you into an isolation feeling. Although, I will be honest, there was another sign that got the isolation card um, or the, this feeling of isolation for October. So maybe there's another shutdown or something that might happen in October, but something for sure going on in October that's not just affecting you, it's affecting the other signs too. So I'm interested to see what that month has uh, and share for us. So leaving, ditching the burdens, ditching the things that bother you, that weigh you down for November. Nice. So all this hard work will pay off because in November we have the abundance card. Nice Sagittarius. I like, I like abundance. King of Pentacle energy could be talking about a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. But I don't think it is. This is your spread in your year. I think this is about you taking that spot and being oh so abundant and the entrepreneur here. All right. So let's look at December. The lover's card. Hmm. Maybe there's going to be a big choice to make in December. Or a perfect harmony with a partnership. Could be a partnership could be a partnership with you and higher self. Always look at it in different ways because it truly just means love and compassion and sharing uh, and also does have to do with a crossroads or a big decision. Oh, wow. And the candle just went out on your reading. Okay, December is really big. Then I'm getting that this card just all of a sudden came up. So I don't know what this relates to, if it relates to this, but this card is about being alone, like the hermit, going within, feeling lonely, but knowing that the information you're gaining is priceless because only you can get that information. Wow, so I'm going to relight this candle. Hopefully it will stay lit. Oh no, it's just out, out. So that wasn't, I don't think that was your reading that did that. Sorry. Sorry. All right. Well, let me light another one before, before we do the Oracle cards because this will be just kind of be like your manifestation candle. If you want to look at it like that, it is being lit for you so you can make a wish or a manifestation to come true with this candle energy. All right, burning bright, burning bright. So, woo, Sagittarius, got a lot going on. All right, let's see. That could be Virgo too, by the way. That could be Gemini. Yeah, we're gonna get wisdom from the Oracle deck for Sagittarius, please. Wow, <laughs> that went right on hard in it oh my gosh I feel like they're they're landing on the spots that they need to be wow all right so powerful we have new life like the empress card breathing new life into something birthing something maybe a new idea it's you guys so right here with this leaving the six of swords leaving something behind and then feeling a little isolated I think it's about your creativity and it's saying, look, just go the distance. This will come in quicker than you thought. Go the distance. And I think it's talking about the whole year. Go this distance. All right. Then we have loyal heart. Could mean that you have a loyal heart to something or that two wise souls have a loyal heart. Ah. So I don't know why the aloneness card, but... Loyal heart card is really good. I'll put this, we'll put this there for the moment. All right, come to the edge and deep knowing. This is a brand new adventure. This is a new adventure, a new start. Take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith. And don't judge this experience like the last ones. Deep knowing might be empathic abilities, the ability to just know 
And that's more than just knowledge or facts. That's a deep understanding when you just know. Maybe you can't pronounce or say it in words, but you just know. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed that. Sending you love and light. Bye.